Hi, and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. This is part four of our ultimate guide to Samplitude Pro X6. Of course, many things apply to the older versions, X3, 4, 5. In this video, we're talking about the takes, managing takes, building a track with different takes, and the take composer. Let's dive in. So before I begin, let's explain what is a take for those that never recorded at all. A take is when you record something, then you stop, you have a take, and maybe you're not satisfied with it, you're gonna record a second take, so you record again. So in the past, with tape machines and some uh, recorders, you were doing another take and it would delete what was there before. Uh, but now with DAWs today, most of them support multiple takes on the same track. So you arm your track to record, you hit record, you stop, record again over it, and you can access what was recorded before. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go to the computer. All right, to experiment with using different takes, we need to record some. So let's start with that. This is take one. Take one, take one. We are recording take one. And let's record another one. This is take two. We are recording take two. Take two, take two. And then another take, take three. We are recording take two. This is the take two. Take two. We are recording take two. Take two. All right, so the first easy thing that we can do if we think that maybe the precedent take is better, you can right click on the object and go into select takes and choose one of the takes that are available. And now you'll be asking why there's only one. This is a little something special with a samplitude. Um, it seems that if a take is longer than a precedent one, um, it will hide the other ones. We can go into Take Manager, and you see it's the same thing. So what I discover, and I did it uh, on purpose, I did record that take longer than the other ones. So if I reduce the end, and you see, deselect and reselect, and the other takes will appear. We're still missing one, so let's go maybe here. Whoa, there's a lot of takes now. Um, let's go like this. Now you see a lot of takes, so I did some tests before, that's why they are showing. And now we can do right click, Select takes and let's go to 71. This is take one, take one, take one. We are recording take one. Okay. And of course, the take two is not there. And that's the same reason. So if we go further, you see now we see 71, 72, 70, 72 twice. <laughs> that's special. Uh, and But we can try them. Let's try. The three, we are recording take two. This is the take two. Okay, let's try uh, this one. Two. We are recording take two. Okay. And of course we can rename them. Uh, let's try the 71. This is take one, take one. Okay, so I could go there and rename it take one or whatever the sentence of the singer is, or whatever the part of the song is. Of course, this can be very long to do that that way. Um, there's an option if you want to change just one part, you can select it, 
and you need to isolate it so we will hit T on the keyboard and then it's separated in three different objects and now I can change the take for this object alone so if I click there and I go back to let's say this one this is take one we are recording take two we are recording take one okay um, let's control Z to go back um, so if there's a lot of takes maybe there's another way you should go at it is using the take composer so you go into take composer and you'll see all the different takes that are available okay if you want to focus on just a little part you can loop that part if you want so that's what we're going to do i'm gonna select this part and activate the loop at the bottom here and play this is take one this is take one okay uh, and if you want to select another take for just a little part you activate here at the top the cut mode okay on the this little icon there marker menu cut mode okay and so you can select maybe this one instead this is take one take one okay a little different let's loop again select play this is take one take one take this is take one this is take take two this is take two this is take two this is this is take one take one this is take one this is take one take one this this is recording take two we are recording take two we are re take three take three <laughs> okay so if the loop is activated you can select just the part and listen to each take one by one and once you found the best uh, performance then you just leave it like that you see there's take 69 that is chosen uh, we can maybe do the same thing here so let's choose this part and play take three take three <laughs> take one take one take one take one take recording take two we are recording take two we are recording take two Okay, so if we listen, take three, take three, take, we are recording take two. And if we continue, two, we are recording take one. And let's take this part. We take two, take two. And once uh, your composition is as you wish, you click on the X right here and it will ask if it should replace what is on your timeline replace takes on all the tracks okay and this is what we get take three take three takes we are recording take two take two we take two take two take all right and of course if you made a mistake you could uh take those handles uh of course I did activate the auto crossfade before doing everything. So that's why there's some crossfade ev everywhere. You see? And then I can maybe move this part just for fun. And those could be gone. Oops. All right. Maybe like this. Let's listen. Take three, take three, take. We are recording take two. Take two. We are to take two. We are. Okay. And of course, I had a loop right there.
So that's it with the takes. We all hope to be the best musician and do our recording one take and they will be perfect. Of course, it's not always the same and that's why this video is so important and you must learn about managing takes, um, especially if you're working with other artists. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the like button, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, go in the description of this video and click on the merch link. If anything fits your bill, it will help the channel. And of course, another way to help the channel is to click away and play as many videos as you can, share the YouTube channel, share the videos. It's a nice help.